The Nairobi Expressway, which links the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport to Westlands constituency, is set to be completed in December. Transport Cabinet Secretary James Masharia says motorists will be allowed to use the toll road from February. The Cabinet Secretary says the road will have a dedicated BRT line to enable public service vehicle users to use the road as well. Faisal Ahmed spoke to CS Masharia on the progress of the multi-billion shillings project. Yes. This is currently the biggest project that is ongoing in the country. Maybe if you could just give us a progress update of it, where are we as we stand right now? Well, um, I think the point is um, we have uh, accelerated the construction of this project. If you came here like around September last year, there was basically nothing. And what you've done to make sure there is more visibility in terms of the construction and everything else, we started with one site, but now we have eight sites. Uh, if you count all the way from Rorongo all the way to, to James Gashoro, you've seen they've opened up in eight different sites and work is ongoing, including the museum place, including Westlands. This is what is actually uh, creating a lot of um, acceleration in terms of project completion. And frankly, if you see what has been put here, what has been put in the prefab facility, I would estimate about 25, 25% within a period of about three months only. And so with the acceleration, that's why the balance of the 75% clearly will be finished by end of this year. And uh, with that, it will have been achieved within a period of just over 18 months. Um, 65 billion shillings is the cost of this whole project and uh, we understand that uh, the contractor and the financiers are the, are the ones who are going to bear the financial burden. Just um, in a nutshell, just walk us through how that is going to happen and how Kenyans are going to be paying for this road using the toll uh, system. Um, like I said, other than the issue of land acquisition, which we have to, in some sections, be responsible for and moving the utilities like power uh, and ca other cables, the rest, 65 billion, is actually on the account of the contractor. In some cases, what happens is this. A contractor does such a road, but then they ask for guarantees from the government. And they say, assuming there's nobody using this road, I need to be paid so much. Um, you know, what we call, you know, guaranteed payments. In this case, it's different. They are taking 100% risk. And this is good for Kenyans because we know that in future, the future generations of this country will never be asked to bear the burden of constructing these roads. That's why they have done their homework, they have counted how many vehicles, they have seen the need to do the, the toll road. Because if you're coming from the airport, for example, you're going for a meeting in CBD, a meeting which will create so much business value. If you miss a meeting, because you did not pay 300 bob, it doesn't make sense at all. If you, have, if you are leaving the CBD to the airport, you miss your flight, for which you had paid $4,000. What is it compared to paying $2 to come from Nairobi uh, CBD to Jomokianta Airport? That's why the cost is so minimal vis-a-vis -vis the benefit. The other key thing to note is that there will be an alternative for people who do not want to use it. People who do not want to spend the 300 bob, they have an alternative because this road down here will still be available. Even more important, we have put actually a BRT line on both lines, going to the airport and coming from the airport. There is a BRT line, we shall be doing BRT stations as part of this project to make sure that even ordinary Monainchi, who does not have a vehicle, they can still use the buses from the airport the CBD, BRT, non-stop, only in key stations. So it is very important for people who have vehicles and also people who don't have vehicles, meaning for the ordinary Monainchi. And uh, where will the key BRT stations be, Ozil? What we're looking at is uh, the locations where there are major intersections, yeah, to make sure that, uh, for example, at uh, City Cabanas, there are people coming there, there are people coming here at uh, Capital Center, so in those locations, we have to make sure that there will be a BRT stations so to make sure, and also High Selassie, because there are some vehicles coming from that side who will be buses who like to have the passengers connecting 
now to this uh, expressway. So there'll be a station near Isla Avenue. Thank you very much, Asi. Thank you.